What's good YouTube? It's your boy Stan of SJ Square Photography bringing you back another tutorial video today. Now, as you've seen in the title, it's going to be all about detail enhancing your photo. I'm going to show you how to enhance your photo with extreme amount of detail. Now, let's just say if you shoot with like a 24 megapixel camera, I'm going to, this technique is going to actually make it seem like your, your photo was actually taken with like a 100 megapixel camera. It's a real quick, easy, simple, so I'm talking about absolutely simple step to do this, and I'm going to show you right here today. Now, let's just jump right into it. We're going to be working with this picture right here today. This is a picture I did with Alicia. Uh, I love this photo. It's one of my favorites. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, please go follow me now. But if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you probably would have seen this photo. I posted this a while back. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop the metadata so y'all guys can see what I took this with. Of course, I did it with my DA50, which ironically is a 45 megapixel camera, but I'm actually gonna show you how to double that to make it seem like I shot with a 100 megapixel camera today. Uh, as you can see, I shot it with the Tamron 7200 G2 version. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Now, this is the photo right here. Now, this is also about personal taste, right? Uh, right here, I love the picture the way it is right here, but also the technique I'm gonna show you today, I also like it the other way too. So this is the current pho photo right here. Now, I'm gonna show you how to actually get to this point right here. Now, as you can see, you can just see details just absolutely just popped out of the screen right about now. This is what I'm gonna show you how to do. It's a real easy, quick, quick step today, guys, real quick. So, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and I'm gonna show you how to get right into it. Now. As usual, we're gonna go ahead and start and duplicate our layer. That's what we always do when we bring a photo in. We always duplicate the layer. Now, like I said, this this, this technique can actually be used at any point in your process of retouching, okay? Uh, like I said, this is a final photo, so but it can also be used at any point in your retouching. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to filters, and then we're gonna go to sharpen, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit frequency separation. Go ahead and pick a number. I'm just gonna go ahead and guess right at this point in time. All right, now after that's done, now what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have the high, high, frequency high frequency layer selected. And now all we're gonna do right here is, we're just gonna duplicate the layer again. Now look at that, it's that simple. Look at that, now look how much detail just popped out of that by, by just duplicating that layer. Now let me cut that on and off. Here it is regularly. And then as soon as I duplicate that layer, look how much detail popped on. That's all it is. That's all it is. I told you, real quick step, to the real quick tutorial today. So after you do that, what you want to do is you want to come and merge visible. And then, like I said, you can do this at any point of your, your time. I'm just going to go ahead and just speed up some things. Uh, you can do it at any point in time. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to duplicate all these layers now because I already have it in the merge layer right here. So now with this, at this point in time, you can do whatever you want to do with this photo. As if this is too much detail for you, all you have to really do is come to opacity and all you have to do is just play with the opacity. You know, as you can see right there. You play with the opacity, you get it the way you want to get it and the way you like it. Like I said, it's all about personal choice, all about photographer and retoucher's choice. Real quick tutorial today, guys. That's what it is. As you can see, I like the photo like this and I like the photo the original way also. It just really kind of depends on how I feel it. But I really hope you enjoyed this video today, this little quick tutorial that I wanted to show you. I hope this helps you out in your retouching and your editing skills. Um, if you like my content, please consider yourself subscribing um, and also like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> so, until the next tutorial video, peace.